So we're doing Khufu's Revenge. Jason and I did not beat this map last night on stream, but we got pretty close. Uh, this is just the Easter egg guide that we're going to do for you guys. Now, there's a couple things I do want to say. Uh, you can only have six perks on this map. You can upgrade a bow. We're going to show you the bow. We're not going to upgrade it because we don't really need to. Um, and then uh, that's really it. So um, we'll show you guys how it's done. There's three free perks that you can get. We're going to show you all the collectibles for that. And uh, we're just going to send it as usual. So hopefully this, guy help, this guide helps you guys out. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to start knife kills uh there's a couple of these challenges on the map some you have to do for the shield parts uh but you don't have to do all five of them so one two this one you have to do because it opens the first door which is here and then we're going to slide on down so we're going to slide down here and this is basically the main hub this is basically the place where most of the map kind of revolves around in a certain sense so at this point our first goal is to uh, turn on power. So what you want to do is you want to follow you'll see these cords on the ground There's a red one and a blue one. You're gonna want to follow that um, All the way to power. They both lead to the same place. It's just a matter of which way you go uh, We're gonna go left because there's something or we're gonna follow the blue trail. I should say uh, Because there's something over there that we need and uh, it's just easier to get it now rather than later So that's gonna be our first priority now as I said, there are three ways to get free perks, and uh, you're going to want that after you get your original six. So you need to collect elixirs, bones, and uh, herbs. The first bone is going to be, if this is where you drop down at the beginning, the first bone is right here. Now we're going to follow the blue wire into here. Just follow it. And here's the first herb. And then we're going to come over and make a left. And right here is a pickaxe. You're going to need this in the power room. This is super important. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to continue. And now we're just going to go this way for power. So we have one more door to go through. So give us a second. Oh, or Jason could be a god and open it for us. So as I said, we're going to go into the power room. We're going to turn on power power right here lights are going to go on it helps a lot but you do have a flashlight don't ask me why i threw a grenade oh shit i thought it blew up but we're going to take that right we're going to come here and we're going to pick up a gas mask the reason you need this gas mask is because to do the easter egg there's rooms where uh it will slowly kill you because of gas but now that we have the gas mask you won't need to uh or you don't have to worry about it i should say but while we're in here there's three fuses one Two, and we're going to come back here and we're going to use that pickaxe to mine through here so we're going to uh, come back here sorry and grab the third fuse then we're going to put these in and what this is going to do it's going to open the teleporter for us uh, now we're just going to link the mainframe so one here we're going to follow the blue wire all the way back and we're gonna link it so teleport is now linked we're not going to teleport just yet but we will have to later you're going to be teleporting a lot uh in this map uh because of the easter egg but um yeah so we just linked the mainframe now you will find these maps all over the uh map basically and this is actually super useful uh so just know where these are for if you ever get lost really but now Jason and I just kind of have to plow through a couple rounds, open some doors. So uh, that's what we're going to do. One thing we are also going to do is there's a way to get a free gun. And it's a really good gun. So if you're looking at the teleporter, you're going to go downstairs, go behind the stairs down here. And there's a skull on a stick. Now, this gives you a gun called the X1 Venom or something like that. But it's really good for crowd control, which you're going to need later uh, unless you're really really good and we're, apparently we're not because i fucked up on the last one but yeah so we're just gonna plow through this soul box and hopefully get this early okay so we're next to speed we just opened the door now uh normally this place will kill you but we have the gas mask so we're fine now over here is headshots challenge and then if you complete that you get the shield part which we are going to do but to start the main easter egg in each of these tombs there's a skull so we're gonna grab that skull uh, we're gonna grab the skull right here and then um, we're gonna start opening doors and getting perks now we're gonna show you what perks to get because it's actually really important uh, the ones that we strongly recommend getting these specific ones 
Uh, not really in this order. Just make sure that these are your first six because you can only have six as of right now. So, uh, yeah, I think Jason and I are going to just plow through a little bit more. So if you're looking at uh, power, we're actually going to take a right. The second tomb's in the double tap room for 2,000. So just follow this way. And I'm going to open it now. We're going to do hit damage. Might as well activate this one. And this is going to open up the next shield part. We didn't do the first one yet, but we will. Now, hit damage is really easy. You literally just have to hit someone 20 times. So it goes by pretty quick. Uh, this is where the shield part is when you complete it. And here's the skull. So that's our second skull. Okay, so we just completed the soul box. There's a uh, max ammo. And you're going to want one of these uh, for crowd control. Uh, when you're doing soul boxes later, it works basically as like a grenade. Pretty nice. All right, so if you're looking at speed cola, we're going to go here. And we're going to get the first elixir. We're gonna keep going straight and we're gonna get the second bone, which is right here. All right, so now that we're, if power's here, we're past this, we're gonna take a right, we're gonna open this door. This is another room that would normally gas you out, uh, but we, again, we have the gas mask. So we're gonna grab the herb right there. That's our second herb, our second, um, and our second elixir. So we're good in here. So if we're looking at snail's pace, so the bone was here, we're going to take a left and we're going to get our last elixir. So now we should have all three herb. No, that's a lie. I take that back. That's just the third elixir. Forget what I said. So at this point, uh, these are probably the three perks that you're going to want to run. And that's uh, double tap, jugs, and speed cola. Now, there's going to be the three perks that you're going to want to get uh, for your last three that you can carry are uh, super expensive. We will not lie to you, but you're going to want Mule Kick, Widow's Wine, and something called Savage Shake. And uh, there's a reason for that, and we'll get to that when we'll, we'll, I'll tell you about that when we get there. So we're going to work for perks right now because there's really not much more that we can do. Um except for get a couple collectibles. But other than that, uh, yeah, now it's just kind of about saving and getting ready. So here's the first shield part because we finished the challenge. So the second one was headshots, which uh, opens the second shield part over here. So now we have three, We, as I said, we have the three elixirs. Now we still need one more herb and we need one more thing of bones. So if we're at snail's pace, you take a right, Then take a left, and the bones are right here. Then we're going to keep going. This is going to be for 2,000. Uh, this is the last tomb. We're going to grab the third herb, and we're going to grab the last skull. Now, this is the Easter egg. Uh, we're going to move on uh, to doing the next part, which is soul boxes. Uh, so there's going to be these statues all over the map, and uh, each one's a soul box. It takes... It takes uh, 35 souls to finish, and uh, we're basically just going to send it. So uh, at that, at the same time, we're going to be saving up for those perks that we were telling you about, but you're going to want to get all these done, which, I'll, of course, I'll show you where they are. Again, this is the first one. It's right across from this map. Now, if you struggle a lot uh, with uh, soul boxes or these tight little areas, this gun's really good for the crowd control, as I said. So... Beautiful. So you just like that. Simple. So when you hear that sound, that means that you finished. Now I'm going to go buy Mule Kick real fast. And again, I'll clarify why in a little bit. So the last shield part, you have to come over here and you have to get 20 kills each, which isn't that bad. The next statue is next to Speed Cola. Right here. All right, second one is done. So Jason and I just finished the kills challenge. Uh, again, it's pretty easy. Uh, we're going to make a right up here where we did the challenge, where Mule Kick is. Take that right. And then it's right here. So now you just have to go to the power room to build it, and I'll show you where that is. All right, so if we're in the power room, you're just going to make a left, and you can build it right here. You're definitely going to want this for later just because it's a good safety precaution. 
All right, so the last statue, we actually have to go back to spawn. And the only way to do that is by teleporting through Pack-a-Punch. Now, there is a chance that you can get two other rooms. We actually didn't here, but um, there's a chance that you can get another room, and that's another challenge, which is spin, spin um, the mystery box twice. That's an easy one. And then um, uh, there's an altar, which we'll need later. So that's based on chance. This door won't open until we have the bow, which we're not at yet. Okay, we're back at spawn. If you take a right right here and you're looking at the map, the last one's right here. This one's by far the hardest, and the reason for that is, it one, it's cramped. Two, they spawn on both sides. And here, they don't actually spawn. They just kind of show up because they come from down there. Now, remember, once you fall down, you can't get back up here until you teleport. So, hopefully, I can just plow through this real quick. Seems like it's dogs, which is good. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so the third one's done, which means the throne room is now open. So the fifth perk you're going to want to get is going to be Widow's Wine. So now that we just finished the three soul boxes, or the statues, we're going to relink the mainframe. Uh, now we're going to get three keys, and they're kind of hard to see, to be honest with you, but it's not too, too bad. So we're going to go back to the garden, which if you just follow the red wire... Come down, take a right in here. We're going to go straight into the left. And they you would think that a key would look like a key, but it actually looks like these little boxes. So that's fine. That's the first one. We're going to keep going straight. We're going to pass snail's pace, and we're going to go all the way straight to the back. You can actually kind of see it from here. It's glowing. So we're just going to go prone, grab the second one. So we're back in the teleporter room. We're going to... Go over here, teleport, and the last key or the third key is going to be in the Pack-a-Punch room. Uh, and it's if you go straight back over here, this is where you upgrade the bows. We're not going to upgrade the bows because it's not there's not really a point to it. But uh, uh, there's not a point to it because of the perks that we're going to get, which is why I said get these perks specifically. But uh, if you want to upgrade a bow, there's a whole tutorial on how to do it. But we just opened the gate. Um... And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to go back to spawn. So this part kind of sucks. So we're going to go down, and we're going to uh, link the mainframe again. But first, we're going to come back here. We're going to go over to this gate and open it, because now we have the keys to open it. And you just kind of hit F on this, and you pick up the first relic. Uh, so that's the first kind of chunk of the Easter egg done. The next one uh, is... The statues and basically what we have to do is we have to relink the mainframe and go back through again okay so we're actually in a really good position right now because i have a lot of points but we're going to come over here so if we were looking at speed we're going to come over here and the last perk that you're going to want is called savage shake it's right here now this is why you need a mule kick um widow's wine and this one so what this does is whatever gun is put away for 10 seconds, for every 10 seconds, it's going to give you a new clip, which basically means unlimited ammo. So if you have three guns, you will never run out of ammo. It's a busted perk. Also, what's even more important, which is why we have Widow's Wine, it does the same thing for Widows. So you have unlimited Widow's grenades. So unless you're trying to die, you will not die. So uh, that's why we get those perks. Now we're going to go and do the next step of the Easter egg. Uh, I'm going to pack a punch one of my guns and then... Um, we're gonna get the bow. So we're gonna go through the teleporter and get back to spawn. Now that we're back at spawn, we have to hit these three statues. So you have this one, a blue one, and a white one. Now the order's not, you kind of just guess the order. Um, I think it's, I, I'm just probably gonna guess it. It says, I think we said green, white, and blue. But I'm not 100% sure. You kind of just keep trying it till you get it. And it'll make a noise. So I don't think we got it on that one. Just try different combos till you get it. Okay. So right there we just got it. So for us it was green, blue, white. Next thing we're going to show you is how to get the bow. Um, the bow is really easy. Just come in here. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to buy it for 2,500 points. Now... Right here is the second relic. At this point, you're going to want everything pack-a-punched. You're going to want all your perks. So we're going to show you how to get the three free perks right now. We already collected all the herbs. 
we collected all the bones and we collected all the elixirs so the first one we're going to do is we're going to go back to speed so we're back at speed we're going to come to this table mix elixirs here's the first one i got electric cherry we're going to pass the cairo uh, whatever the fuck it's called we're going to go into the double tap room we're going to go here and this is where you do the herbs for the next free one i got dead shot like a pathetic person and then we're going to come in here uh, this is where we got the last shield part where we're, the big tomb is and it's right here uh, That's where we put the bones and I, oh, I got snail's pace. I'm actually set now Jason and I are gonna work on basically pack-a-punching all that we need to just because it's you're better off So, uh, we're gonna have to just plow through this because we made a little whoopsie But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we have to go to what's called the leisure room So we're gonna press F on this all hell is gonna break loose So this is the last round basically because it's unlimited zombies and uh whatever you call them, uh, zombies and dogs. So what you wanna do is you wanna get in here and you're gonna wanna survive for two and a half minutes. Uh, so there's a timer in the bottom left-hand corner over the wave counter, if you guys can see. And uh, in this room, don't go down here, but that counter has to get to 130. So uh, wish us luck, because this is as far as we've gotten. <laughs> Last relic piece is within the tomb. Okay, so that's basically as far as we've gotten. Now, I think it's unlimited. If we can save a zombie, that is easier. But what we have to do now is we have to keep teleporting until we get the altar. Um, it's purely based on chance. You might have gotten it before. It's literally an altar with the third piece on it. Uh, so we have two out of the three. This is basically the last step before the Bible ending. So uh, we're just going to have to keep going through until we get there. But we're basically in the home stretch, guys. Please, 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 please. Got it. Okay. So here's the room. Finally, the altar. Here's the third piece. The relic can now be crafted. That was attempt number what? 332, we said. <laughs> so yeah, if you had the time to sit there. No. That was like what? Maybe. We did it in 10, I think. So it kind of sucks. Would have been easier if you were not recording. Because then if you put two people through, uh, double the chance. But, yeah. All right. So, now that we have all three relic pieces, we are going upstairs to here. And we're going to craft the relic piece. So, if you just come to the back over here. Takes 10 seconds to craft. So, of course, you don't want to do this when you have a shit ton of zombies on you. Oh. So, that is basically all we have to do. Now, you get Perkaholic, which is pretty nice. And uh, there's a couple things you could do here. So, in each of the tombs, there is a portal that takes you to upgrade the shield. We don't really have to do that. Uh, there's really no reason to. I actually haven't even seen what it looks like. So, let's just... Yeah. So, these are the portals. Um, let's go in. Why, why not? So, yeah. This is where you would upgrade your shield. So now we're going to teleport and we're going to get the Bible ending. The Bible, Bible ending is back in spawn. Uh, we'll show you where that is. We don't know how much it is. So you guys are in for a ride with us. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too, too expensive. Maybe even free. That would be nice. So the Bible is apparently over here down the stairs. And it is only 5,000. That's pretty nice. So... Guys, that is the whole Easter egg. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully my editing is not going to be bad so that you guys know what's going on. But Jason, good job. Great map. One of the better maps we've ever done. So, uh, yeah, just any questions, let me know in the comments or however you want to reach me. Uh, we'll be setting up Twitter. So uh, if you want to do it that way. But usually I'll respond to, actually always I'll respond to YouTube comments. So just send it to us. So on that note, peace, peace.